So this is something I've never really noticed or paid much attention to, but I think it's very important to note that there is a huge inverse correlation between the market dominance of USDT and Bitcoin. And what it's showing right now is that capital actually may be ready to flow in in a big way again. So this was pointed out by Megs, the scalping pro on Twitter. And what they said is Bitcoin pump incoming. If you've been paying attention to the USDT dominance, you already know about the inverse correlation between that and BTC. Looking at the chart, USDT dominance broke down a strong trend line support and is currently testing resistance. While the pullback on BTC looks like a retest of weekly support near all time high. If USDT gets rejected here, we can expect a massive leg in BTC, sending it to 80K and even higher. And looking at the charts, that actually makes a lot of sense. So this is the USDT dominance chart. And you guys can see that basically it's showing a little weakness right around that, that resistance line, right? Right around, uh, what is it? Not quite 5%, eh, right about 5% or so. And so right now it's kind of teetering on that line and it actually looks like it's about to kind of make this reversal. In fact, the indicator on the daily, and I indicate which of you guys are curious about checking out the links in the description below, you guys can see that there is a DCA out that's flashing here showing some possible momentum shift the opposite direction. All right. It's also gone from this uh, bearish to neutral here and it's approaching some of these trend lines. So it's possible that this is going to flip around and move the opposite direction. We look at BTC, we're seeing kind of a, a similar thing here, right? Approaching this hard trend line at what uh, what the prior high was back here in uh, early 2021. So this inverse correlation may play out uh, exactly like Mags is saying. This may be our kind of hard bounce point in the charts. Now, we'll obviously know more, I think, as we get towards the middle of the week. I know I've talked about the FOMC meeting a bunch, so I won't bore people with that. But this, I think, is that big inflection point in the market. It may be something that either accelerates us further to the downside, further uh, buying into USD, USDT. We see this dominance increase, us kind of shoot up again into this about 5.13% range, or it's the flip point in the market where BTC kind of rockets out of here and you see this dominance drop way down, approaching probably some of these levels around four and a half percent. So this is, you know, obviously not a guarantee, not financial advice. It's very interesting to see that this correlation is in fact taking place. I know I've talked a bunch about all this capital that's been positioned on exchanges. There's been this huge influx of USDT. It's all positioned to buy. It's just kind of, it's kind of waiting, right? That's why we've seen this USDT dominance climb. We know that there's been a bunch more USDT that has in fact been minted. So there's a bunch of capital that's in fact entering the market and, and ready to buy. It's, it's again, just all goes back to this question of when does it hit? I think, again, you need kind of that just flip of the switch, that little bit of, of positive sentiment to really get things running again, to kind of let the market take off. So that's that's kind of what we're, we're waiting for right now. So hopefully this does play out like he said. I'd love to see a pump above 80K. That'd be great for BTC, great for alts. But I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.